Alright guys, so I'm here today with a double upload and it's going to be another head-to-head -head My League challenge. It is going to be an offensive versus defensive. If you guys want to see more double uploads, let's see if this video will get over 850 thumbs up for more double uploads in the future. And let me know in the comments other head-to-heads if you guys want to see these. So I feel like this video might be a touchy video. You guys might be like, oh, this guy should have been here, this guy should have been there. But, alright, so for this, um, or let's get into this. So here is the defensive team. So this is the defense team. Obviously, there's guys that aren't going to be in here that might be your favorite player or that you think should be in here. And that is fine. That always happens with these type of videos. But all these players are just known for their defense. Like, obviously, I could have put Anthony Davis on the offensive team. But I decided to put him on the defensive team to also make things fair. Because you'll see the offensive team and see how good it is. So for defensive, we have Kawhi Leonard. Uh, reigning defensive player of the year, I believe. Uh, Anthony Davis. Chris Paul. Paul, uh, Paul George and Jimmy Butler. So that's pretty much the starting five right there. And then you got Clay Thompson. Most of these guys you guys can see on their perimeter knees, either amazing or their inside knees amazing. Um, Draymond Green's both is amazing. Same with Anthony Davis. Then has, there's Hassan Whiteside. Rudy Gobert is in here. Avery Bradley. Uh, Tony Allen. And that's about it. So there's, I think, 11 or 12 guys. I think there's 11 for the defensive team. And now let's go over to the offense team. So here you go. You got LeBron James. Russell Westbrook, Kevin Durant, Steph Curry, James Harden, DeMarcus Cousins, Damian Lillard, Kyrie Irving, Giannis Antetokounmpo, Melo, and then I threw J.R. Smith in here because I had Tony Allen on defense and he was a lower overall, so I decided to throw somebody that's like plays no defense but's good at offense, and Jarrett's perimeter D isn't too bad in this game, but he's well known for his scoring, so this is the two teams in two different conferences. I expect them both to make it to the NBA Finals and play each other. And we can see what's more powerful or uh, who has the advantage in 2K in the simulation offense or defense. So let's just see what their lineup is, guys. I do not edit this. I let the CPU do this. I do not control it. But so they're going to go Paul Butler Leonard, Davis Whiteside, have George come off the bench with Clay. They also have Draymond Green in here. Rudy Gobert, but for the NBA Finals, I will be, um, I will adjust both rotations to the best of their abilities to go up against each other. So, now let's take a look what the offense is going to do. Uh, let's auto-generate it. So, it's Kyrie, then James Harden, James, Durant, Cousins. Obviously, if they play each other in the Finals, I'm going to put Westbrook and Curry in there. Um, so, we'll get to that later. They got three point guards coming off the bench, and they have Giannis and Melo getting minutes. Jr. is not getting anything, but let's see how both teams do. Let's start off the simulation. I expect the Nuggets to do better in the regular season, but actually, let's see when they play each other first. So, when do the Nuggets play the Magic? Um, okay, December 10th is the big game, guys, where they uh, face each other. The Wow, the offensive team already loses a game. Okay. Maybe it shows, yep, they gave up 115 points in this game. They got amazing defenders on the team, like LeBron's on this team. Uh, Westbrook's, he's not too bad. Uh, so, yeah, like, they got defensive players on this team. Okay, they just beat the Timberwolves 124-68. to 68. And I want to see, like, at the end of the year, is this offensive team scoring, like, an insane points per game? And is the defensive team allowing, like, an insane points a game? So, wow, two losses already for the offensive team. Uh, we are approaching kind of the first game. I think it was December 10th they play each other. So they are 15-2. And, and it's going to be okay. 17-3 and three. now. They do have three L's. And here we go. They're playing each other. Let's now check out the defensive team. And they're 22-1. and one. You can see they've given up 75 there. 72 there. 71 there. So a lot of 70 uh, points games they've had so far. So let's simcast this game. And they also win that one. So they are actually having a better season. It is in the defensive court. In Orlando, I don't know why I picked those two teams. So, offense drops 32 on them in the first quarter. And it looks like they are showing out on them. They are up by 17, the offensive team. And they win by, uh, what, 17. Davis dropped 18. Uh, how many steals? Five for Chris Ball. But the offense was just too good. KD dropped 19. So, that is the first meeting. Do they play again is the question. I believe they do. Actually, maybe not. So, who am I looking for now? The Nuggets on this. Do the Nuggets and this team play each other? I don't think they play each other again for the... Oh, no. January 16th. Okay. So, we're going to simcast, and I'll see you guys when we're at that game. So, guys, here we are. The defensive team is 40-2. The offensive team is 35-3. So, let's see what they happen here the last meeting of the season. It is in the offensive home court in Denver. So, let's see who wins. Okay. So, Defense jumps out to an early lead. They are controlling most of this game, but the offense is pulling away in the last couple of minutes, and they win by three. Anthony Davis had a double-double, but it was not enough. Curry drops 17. 
and they take home the win. So, offensive wins twice in this, as that's actually, it's not surprising, but... I thought defensive was definitely going to at least win one of those games. So that is going to be for me now, guys. Uh, the defense team is 43-3, and two of those losses were against offense. And at this moment, let's see the offensive record real quick. They have, or they're 41-3, so they both have the same amount of losses. So, yeah, that'll be for me now, guys. I'll see you guys in, like, the last two weeks of the regular season before we get into the playoffs, where hopefully these two teams face the finals and I don't have to restart this. All right, guys, the last week of the year, um, or the last about week and a half. So the... Um, Offensive team is 76 and the defensive team is 75 and 3. That is insane. I didn't think they were gonna do this well as they're gonna end the year. Are they gonna end at 79 and 3? Yes, they do. Wow. Andy Davis takes home MVP on the 79 and 3 team. Ben Simmons rookie of the year. Uh none of these really matter too much. Yeah, see, like I could have thrown Andre Drummond on maybe the defensive team. But let's just see. Um obviously they get coach of the year. Uh there's Anthony Davis. Any nuggets or other magic? Um, there's Anthony Davis on all defensive first team. Any other defensive players? Um, there's LeBron on it. So let's just get into here. I want to see. I want to actually check out some team stats after we check out the standings. So 79 and three, obviously a one seat for the defensive team, and 76 and six. So no slots there for the offensive team. As they went up 2-0, they might have had a better uh, regular season record defensive, but offense did win. Um, or it's still, uh, wait, no. The offensive might have beat the defensive team twice in regular season, but the defensive team ends up winning 79 games. So that's pretty surprising. So let's check out stats. Let's go to team stats first. So the defensive team in the NBA, they went up a whopping 88.3 points a game. That is insane. And the offensive team went up a whopping, or scored a whopping 119 points a game. So both teams on their respected side of the ball doing work. So stats wise, um, we can quickly go over this. So Anthony Davis, 19 points, leading score. Kawhi, 18. Paul George, 17, I think, off the bench. Chris Ball, 14. Jimmy Ball, or 13. Now, if we check over to the offensive score or the offensive side of things, LeBron, 15. KD, about 15. Irving, 14.7. Harden, 14.5. Cousins, 13.3. Let's just get into these playoffs. Hopefully, both teams just make it to the finals like they should. Nothing happens here with 2K where I have to redo this. Um, okay, so let's see my current round again. All right, they both swept them. Please just sweep their last opponents. And, of course... Team defense makes it scary. They lost game one, but it's okay. So here we go. Offensive versus defense in the NBA Finals. Let me um, auto do their lineup. So obviously, okay, they're going to start Westbrook. We could do this lineup. I'm fine with this. Um, so yeah, that is good for the offensive side of things. Now, defensive side of things. Um, let's see. So they're going to go Paul Thompson. Now, we're going to start Butler over Thompson. Um, okay, so Paul Butler... Leonard Davis. We're actually going to start Davis at center, and we're going to put Draymond Green in there um, at power forward. So let's do that. So let's go in the NBA Finals. Every other game, we will switch off and on a team in the top. You guys can see we are controlling the Magic, but it doesn't favor them, I think. So let's get into the round or the game number one. As defensive bowls out, they blew him out in the first quarter. Now offensive is blowing them out in the second, and offense is going to end up winning this game. What a collapse after the first quarter by the defensive team. Wow, impressive. Uh, 22 for KD, 21 for Chris Paul. Uh, now, let's go here. And now, let's control the Nuggets. See, like, it doesn't really mean anything. Um, is defensive ever going to win a game on them? It looks like it's been no match. Are they going to win this game finally? They do. Okay, they win it by 10. They only allowed the best offensive team possibly of all time. Could have been, um, if you put that team in real life, to only 85 points. So, let's go back here. Game 3. Big game here. Winner of this game might have control over the series. It's close. It's close. As team defense pulls away with a 14 um, plus 14 or 14 fourth quarter point advantage as they win by 13 in this game. Kawhi dropped 19 and 10. Wow. Okay. So they're up 2 1. Those are the biggest two games this season. See, it's not what matters in the regular season, but let's see if offense. Uh, actually, I forgot to control offense. Ooh, okay. Uh, but offense gets blown out in this one. Wow. Okay, defense. I see you. I see you. So we'll do two games here with the Nuggets. If you guys think that will make any difference, um, here they go. It's do or, uh, do or die for the offensive team. They win by six. Clutch outing from James Harden and Kevin Durant. So here we go. Well, that was game five. So this is game six. Defense with a good first quarter. And um, okay. And here we go, guys. A game seven. I will control the defense or just hover over them. Let's see here. Let's take it by quarter. Um. All right, so for the first quarter, it goes an 11-point lead for the defense. Now, second quarter, about the second quarter is over, and it goes one-point favor to the offense. So going into halftime, pretty much 
defense was up by nine. So let's simulate to the end of the third. And it is a eight point game. So let's see, can offensive make that fourth quarter comeback? Oh my God, they almost did it, guys. They did lose by one point. Anthony Davis, 23 and 13. Harden 20 and 5. So that was actually a very interesting head-to-head -head video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know in the comments other ones you guys want to see. Um, let's see if this video can go for 850 likes for more double uploads in the future. So it was offensive versus defensive. We could do like NBA Live versus 2K in the next one or stuff like that. So let me know in the comments some ideas. Hope you guys enjoyed the double upload. I love you guys. Hope you guys have a great day and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.